showing you guys how to get this wearable smoky eye something that you can wear every day if you want to me personally if I had the time to do my makeup like this every day I would probably do this every day but realistically I do not have the time to do this every day so if you guys want to see how I got this look right here kind of an Instagram baddie I guess inspired makeup look please stay tuned and keep watching so I'm starting off with my eyebrows already done and I filled them in with the NYX eyebrow pencil in dark brown and I highlighted my brow bone with the LA girl pro concealer in chestnut and that's what I'm taking on my mobile eyelid to prime my eyelids as you guys can see to get ready for this eyeshadow now I'm taking this real technique buffer brush and blending everything out to make sure everything is just smooth and even before I set my eyelids now I'm taking my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm using my Real Technique contouring brush to set my eyelids. This step is basically going to allow your eyeshadow to go on really really smooth because if you don't set your eyelids and you put eyeshadow on top of concealer that is not like dry, your eyeshadow is basically going to be literally sticking and blending in with your concealer and you don't want that so make sure you set your eyelids before you go in with the eyeshadow is going to make a huge difference and your eyeshadow is going to blend more seamlessly i guess you can say so yes yeah, set your eyelids moving on to this eye look i'm going to take brown script from mac which is my transition color this is literally the color that i always use first in my videos um you know brown script just be doing it but the brush i'm using it is the morphe e27 brush and i'm currently obsessed with this brush i cannot put it down the morphe m441 brush is still the ride or die but this one has me obsessed right now you know so i'm just taking brown script and blending this all throughout my crease in circular motions now i'm taking brown down from mac and i'm using my morphe m4330 brush to apply this eyeshadow in my crease I really like this brush because it's tapered um, but it's still fluffy and it will blend the product out as well as focus it in a certain area you guys get what I'm saying I don't know so yeah this is the Morphe M4 not M4 M330 brush and I really love it so yeah I'm just taking brown down in the outer corner of my eye and focusing it more into my crease to make this look more dark and smoky and now I'm taking this ColourPop eyeshadow and I do not remember the name of this eyeshadow but it's darker than brown down and it's from ColourPop and I switched to my Morphe M5 14 brush and I'm basically doing the same thing as far as the placement of the eyeshadow starting on the outer corner and blending it inward I'm just getting more and more precise when it comes to my crease area and I'm just blending it through the crease and uh, bringing it down onto my mobile eyelid and darkening up the outer V of my eye now I'm taking corrupt from makeup geek and I'm using my morphe m506 brush and this is basically a small bullet blending brush I'm not sure what the name of this brush is but it looks like a bullet and it's small so that's the name of it and I'm just taking this in the outer V of my eye and I'm precisely putting this just on the outer V and blending it inward because I'm going to be doing liner and I want the liner to have something to blend into or smoke out to I guess you can say and now I'm just taking my blending brush and making sure everything is blended as you guys can see, I did skip over doing my liner on camera, but it was really simple. I started thin towards the inner corner and got thicker towards the outer corner to give me that cat eye effect without doing the wing because honestly, I don't really like doing wing eyeliners, but yeah. And now I'm just using a Morphe E36 brush to blend out the outer corner of my liner. Now I'm switching back to the E27 brush and making sure everything is blended flawlessly and that is basically it for the eye look you know not too hard at all now i'm going to take the big shot mascara from maybelline and i'm going to apply a few coats to my lashes before i put on falsies and the lashes that i'm going to be wearing are the kiss lashes and the salon perfect go glam lashes you can find these at walmart and i really like these lashes they did the job and they look beautiful on like they low-key look like mink lashes which i love and they're also really affordable and easy to find which is a great thing 
Moving on to my face makeup, I skipped over my foundation routine because I always show you guys that on camera, so I decided to leave it out in this video. If you guys wanted to see that, I'm sorry, I apologize, but it'll be in the next video. Anyways, um, I'm setting my under eyes with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder, and I'm using a beauty blender, which... Is like my first time ever using a beauty blender. It works pretty good. The beauty blender is a bit softer than the Real Technique sponge and the texture is a little different but that's the only difference that I really see between both beauty blenders. So I'm just taking that Sasha Buttercup setting powder and setting my highlighted areas and I take it around my mouth area because that area likes to crease. And now I'm taking my Studio Fix powder in the color NC47. And the brush that I'm using is from Pure Cosmetics. I really like this brush because it's very soft, but it's dense at the same time. And it covers a large area. So it's great for setting your face or packing on powder. So yeah, I'm just putting the powder all over my face, on my ears, and down my neck to make sure everything is blended together. But if you're wearing white, don't, don't do this part. Don't put the powder on your neck because it's going to get on your shirt. <laughs> okay, so if you're familiar with my channel, you guys already know what the next step is. I'm using the True Complexion Contour Palette from Black Radiance. And I'm using this to contour my face. I'm going to take it in my cheekbones, on my forehead, and basically on the perimeter of my face. I'm also going to take it on the sides of my nose to contour my nose out slightly, not not too much for blush i'm using the black of cosmetics blush in 09 and i'm using my real technique blush brush to apply this and i'm applying this in circular motions to make sure it blends out into the rest of my face makeup and i put it on my nose because i just like the way blush looks on my nose so yeah might be weird but that's what i do for highlighter i'm using the pure minerals matte shimmer bronzer well the glow together matte shimmer bronzer and it's shattered so there's no point of fixing it because it's almost gone and i'm using my bh cosmetics fan brush to apply this to my cheekbones and the tip of my nose and i like to wrap it around in a c shape because i like the way it looks wrapped around in a c shape instead of going back and forth with the highlighter and you just making a random line on your face it just blends out better when i do it this way and i'm taking this sample that I got from the Mariah Carey collection it's her Lutz powder in touch my body and I'm using this as a topper because I love this highlighter but I don't normally use it on camera because it's not available anymore so that's why I don't use it on camera but I love the loose powder and I'm so upset that I did not get it now I'm lining my bottom lash line with some cream liner I think this is the eye studio Maybelline eyeliner and I'm taking brown script from Mac on my medium sweeper brush from Sigma and smoking out my bottom lash line now I'm taking some liquid eyeliner to cover up my lash band because you can kind of see it so I'm using some black eyeliner to camouflage that band because don't nobody want to see that lash band girl okay for my lips, I'm using the MAC Lip Glass and I'm pairing that with the Mineralized Glass in Lovingly Yours. Alright you guys, so this is the finished look. I really hope you guys like it and if you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and comment down below. And also, if you feel like it, you can subscribe to my channel if you want to, you don't have to. And you know, if you want to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, you can do that too. Um, but yeah, this is the finished look. I really hope you guys like it as I already said before. And I will see you guys in my next video. Ever since I left the city, left the city.